guys, so this is why concentration does not affect the position of equilibrium, also known as why KC is boss. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Just a little bit of setting up. Over here, I'm going to be keeping track of the rate of my forward reaction and the rate of the backward reaction as reacting some products interchange in an equilibrium. Also over here we've got a little scale and this is going to keep track of our ratio of reactants to products in terms of concentration. So if I just have reactants, we're over here, 100% reactants, 0% products. If we just have products, we're over here, 100% products, 0% reactants. If we had a 50-50 mix, we'd be right in the middle there. And just down here, I've got the KC expression, which is products over reactants raised to their molar ratio. Let's just say the molar ratios are both one, just to keep this nice and simple. So, let's say that when I'm finding my KC, we're going to find our concentrations here. The most important thing to remember is with KC, these need to be the equilibrium concentrations. Can't be any old conks, it has to be the conks at equilibrium. So I'm going to say that again. In order to find KC, these have to be the equilibrium concentrations. Okay, so let's say at equilibrium, it just so happens that the position of equilibrium lies to the right. It could be anywhere depending on the equilibrium, certainly doesn't have to be in the middle. So let's say our position of equilibrium lies to the right. And when we have our products and reactants in the concentrations that gives KC, we can say our current position is at the position of equilibrium. So when these conks equal KC, you are at equilibrium. So let's have a think about our forwards and backwards reaction rates. If we are in dynamic equilibrium, if we're at the position of equilibrium, one of the things to know about a dynamic equilibrium is the rate of the forwards reaction equals the rate of the backwards. And so these would equal each other, they're kind of going to cancel each other out. So although we have reactants and products interchanging, there's no overall change. So we stay at equilibrium. Let's make a change. Let's dump in loads more reactants. So we're going to deliberately break the equilibrium and we're going to massively increase the concentration of our reactants. Now, we're not at equilibrium anymore, so we can no longer say that this equals Kc. Okay? This will equal a value, but it won't be Kc. It will just be your current position. Now, if we keep track of this up here, by increasing the concentration of our reactants, we're essentially making our current position more this way. Look, you've now got more reactants compared to products. That's what that means. So let's say our current position is now over here somewhere, because we've increased our amount of reactants just by dumping loads in. Look what's happened to the position. Our position of equilibrium is now to the right of where we currently are. So think back to the Chatelier's principle. If you increase the concentration of reactants, the position of equilibrium shifts to the right. But it's not that the position of equilibrium is shifting, that stays still, providing the temperature is the same. That stays still. It's your current position relative to the position of equilibrium. So, let's now have a think about what happens to our rate of reaction. Well, we've increased the concentration of reactants, so our forward rate of reaction will increase. We haven't changed the concentration of products, so that's going to stay the same. So we've now got a greater rate of forward reaction than we do backwards, and so our reactants will start to change into our products. And so as they do, this is going to go down, that's going to go up, 
until eventually they equal each other again. And that is represented by your current position sliding back to the position of equilibrium. When that happens, you have re-established your equilibrium and your concentrations, they're not the same. They both increased, but by a proportional amount. And so we have now re-established equilibrium. You are back at KC. You'll get the same answer. It's different numbers, but they, the effects cancel out to give you the same answer. And that's why KC is boss. Concentrations don't change KC in the position of equilibrium. Concentrations will change until they re-reach the position of equilibrium and equal KC again.